What's up, boys? Call sign Grammy here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up and run your AI with voice commands. This is a pretty cool functionality that is run through a mod. So let's start at the beginning and walk you through what you're going to need in order to do this. And then I'm going to share my experience with you and let you know exactly how it works out because it's not perfect, but it's a lot of potential here and it definitely changes the way you can approach uh, the game by giving vocal commands instead of having to use the context menu or at least minimize the use of it. So first things first is we need the app voice attack voice attack.com and you can download it. Now there is a trial version of this that you can use for a certain period of time and it limits how many commands you can operate and do, but here's the thing. It's 10 bucks to purchase this and it works across many different games. In fact, uh, another popular game that I cover on my channel here that I play a lot is DCS. So I know that there's voice profiles for, for many different uh, DCS aircraft and a whole a bunch of other games as well. So it might be worth the investment. If anything, you can just try the, the, the demo cool. period and see how that works out for you. Once you download voice attack and install it, it's a pretty straightforward process. You're going to want to go over to Nexus Mods. Shout out to Bailey for creating this voice attack profile for Ready or Not. So you're going to log into Nexus Mods and go ahead and download that. Once you download it, all it's going to do is going to give you a zip file. You unzip that and then you're going to import the voice attack profile. And that's it. Like it's as simple as that. In fact, let me show you what voice attack looks like here. So you'll see a drop down menu. Once you import it, it'll say Ready or Not V4 and the cool part is here, it actually displays and shows you whether or not the command you get or said or whatever you say is registering as a valid command. So you can clearly see here that the green, uh, the green dots on the left side are recognized commands, whereas anything that's unrecognized displays as that yellow. So you can look over and see whether or not the commands that you're giving are actually being registered by the uh, program here. That is how you install it and how you use it. The other thing I do want to mention, which is really, really Good. useful is that, uh, when you download this, there is an actual kind of command file here, um, to help get you off the ground and started with this. So this is gonna be very useful. It's been, I'm using it myself here to kind of know the extent of functionality that uh, Bailey created for this ready or not uh, voice attack profile, excuse me. So there's a lot kind of going on in here to understand and, and kind of function with that being covered. And I know I kind of ran through it pretty fast because it's not really difficult to get that installed. I'm gonna move these off the screen here, um, but I can keep an eye to see how things are registered. So I got my AI team here. Um, and we're going to just attempt to run some stuff here. Uh, please do not expect me to actually focus on taking on enemies, but I'm more so focused on how the AI responds to anything that I say. So first thing we're going to do here is tell them fall in, provide support on me. Got your back. All right. So when I gave that command, it got me all the way through the context menu to then have me decide whether or not I wanted to have them fall in in whatever kind of, uh, uh, alignment there so i got them in single file for right now it's looking pretty good now i will try and do it a different way here fall in single file and just what i thought so i've had this issue too um when i give the command for fall in single file it doesn't register you see that right here on this line for some reason it doesn't register that as a command you would think it would because if i say fall in you see, it gives me the commands and the options to kind of uh, pick that, but uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't. So um, potentially a little bit of a kind of display that is not exactly perfect, but let's continue on. Red team, move here. Red, move in, clear the room. Confirmed. Oh, oh, that was nice. Look at that. Moving in. Awesome. Moving on the right. All right. Moving. And they're, they're just going through. Blue team, move here. Move to my front. I'm moving. Blue team, stack. Post up. I'm good to go. Red team, move here. Damn it. Red, stay on me. I got you. Just right there in the demonstration, 
we were able to actually move our team around a lot faster than if I were to do the context menu here, pulling it up, blue. scrolling to blue or red, and then, you know, hitting the different keys to get them to, to do what I wanted them to do. Um, those basic commands, they're pretty, pretty good and uh, uh, worked out really, really well with minimal kind of issues. Jesus Christ, I didn't shot at. Blue, move here. Blue, fall in behind me. Got you, Let me see those things. Contact is down. Well, that got a little chaotic right there. Blue team stack. Post up and cover. Getting into position. Let's we'll see what happens here. Red team, move there. Red provide support. Got your six. Now that we're in position here, let's go ahead and give them the command here to uh, enter in. So we're going to go ahead, looking over here at the sheet, we're going to go ahead and say, Blue team, kick clear with flashbang. Glock picket. Multi-tool ready. Interesting. I give the command and the AI already uh, kind of figured out that the door was lockpicked lock or needed to be lockpicked. Let's see if they continue on with the uh, the command here. No, they didn't. Okay, let's try that command again. Blue team, kick door and clear. It's not registering those commands right here. Blue team, take door and clear. So the speech recognition is not perfect. I don't think I can really fault the voice attack i think it's just a matter of that voice recognition software on the computer itself so let's try this again maybe simplify something here blue team open and clear through the door and clear that was easier for them to do i'm going open on the right red team move in red stay on me got your back Empty into the air no okay. All right. Let's go ahead and try and have the team moving on us, and then we're gonna have them stack and enter on this door. So, team, stack up. Split and cover. Getting into place. All right. Here they go. They're moving in. All right. They stacked up pretty good there. You know what I'm thinking so far? My impressions here is that a lot of this is gonna really be on the user learning the verbiage, you know, and being very precise because you're dealing with speech speech recognition. If you don't speak clearly, if you mumble, or if you don't articulate very well, I think you're gonna have a lot of trouble with this. And this can really make your experience worse than if you were just using the regular context menu here. Um, so this could be a app that, I guess the experience is gonna depend on the individual user and their level of speech, right? I mean, we all know that some people talk a lot better than others. Um, you know, some folks have like that radio, or TV personality voice. And I think folks that have that kind of, of uh, voice will probably have a better experience overall with the recognition. All right, let's continue on here. Team, C2 and clear. C2 the door and clear. Doing it. Here we go. Let's blow it. Blowing and they go in. Perfect. Empty over here, no contact. And AI is proceeding up themselves. Don't really want them to do that, but they're doing it anyway. Nothing good on TV. Suspect down, breathing. Mirror under door. Post up and cover. Okay, that works. So we're learning. You have to get the right words and and say them the right way to get the action that you want. Lock pick it. Get the lock. Okay, that works. Shotgun and clear. Deploy shotgun and clear. Confirm. Okay, there it is. I'm going. Looks clear over here, boss. So what I think it is, is when I'm pointing at an item, you don't have to say what the item is. In this case, it's the door. So I don't have to say shotgun door and clear because I'm pointing at it. So I would just say shotgun and clear. Use the shotgun and clear. Okay, place. so we're learning. And hopefully through me sharing this with you, you guys are gonna learn this as well to make this experience a lot better. All right, boys, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this video. Just kind of wanted to demonstrate what, you know, is possible with the voice attack in that experience here. Um, obviously, again, as I said before, there's a lot to learn with it. It's gonna take time. So, uh, you know, put in the time with it, learn the right commands to give and the system should work. It's not perfect, but it sure is pretty damn cool. 
and uh, can probably add to the level of immersion for you in your gameplay. So uh, I'll put the links down in the description below so you can grab them to download the necessary Ready files enough. and apps to uh, get this thing set up and run it for your games of Ready or Not. Uh, for those of you that are solo players like myself and primarily play solo a lot, again, I think it's pretty cool and there's a lot of potential. So let me know what you guys think about it, your experience, you know, how accurate you think it's working for you, uh, maybe what some of the challenges are uh, down below in the comments. Hopefully this video helps. Call sign, grab me out.